Hello and welcome back to the videos. Today we're going to look at chords. A chord is when you play more than one string at a time. So it will sound like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or like this. Lots of strings at the same time. And we're going to look at how those chords appear on our chord charts. Here is the chord chart that we've used before, the head of the guitar. And the first chord we're going to look at is the chord of A. A major, A. So first of all, you need to find the D string with your first finger. Have a look, D string, first finger, and put it on the second fret. This chord is nice and easy because all of the fingers are on the second fret. You've now got your first finger in position. The second finger goes on the second fret on the G string. Have a look at the, card, the chart. And your third finger on the B string in exactly the same fret. Now, if you look at the chord chart, you'll see the dots are all in a nice straight line. Your fingers won't be like that. Have a look at my hand on this picture of my guitar and you'll see that the fingers are not in a straight line but they're sloped, they're at an angle so that you can fit them in. Have a look at that, have a look at your own fingers, are they the same? So now that your hand is in the proper position I want you to make sure you squeeze nice and hard and you're going to play five strings from A down to the thin E. You're not going to hit the fat E. And we're going to use our thumb, have a look at my hand, my right hand, and it's going to stroke the strings. Notice, stroke the strings nice and gently in a downward motion like this. I'll do that again. So, squeezing nice and hard, let's see if your guitar sounds the same as mine. All together now, with me, one, two, stroke the strings. Squeeze nice and hard with the left hand, one, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. Well done. So using that A chord, let's play a few rhythm games. Copy what I play. Are you ready? One, two, listen to me. A, 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 A. A, 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 A. A, 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 A. A, 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 one more. A, 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 so now we've looked at the A chord, and you can all play that really nicely. Let's change that into a D chord. So we're going to go from A to D. Remember where your fingers are on the A chord. And we're going to look at how to change that into a D. The first thing you must do is, using your third finger, I want you to slide that forward one fret, but don't change it. Don't move it off the string. Up one fret. Have a look at the diagram. Can you see that finger, the, the, third, the dot for the third finger, moved up one fret? The second finger needs to go to the thin E string, all the way down. And at the same time, the first finger goes onto the second fret on the G string. And you should have the shape that you see on the screen now. 
Have a look at it. Are your fingers in the right place? Brilliant. This is how it should sound. Listen. One, two, listen now. One, two, listen now. Still don't hit the fat E string, only four strings this time from the D string down. One, two, listen again. Does your chord sound like that? Have give it a go now. Are you squeezing hard enough? Are your fingers nice and curly? Are your fingers in the right place? Now let's play a few rhythm games on the D chord. Listen to me and copy. Here we go. One, two, listen to me. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. D, 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 D. Well done.